And at the bottom of the pyramid is mechanics. Really what, what brought me to the fact that mechanics, I think, is, one of, is the most important thing that we do is that um, I had a play in uh, a game in Detroit one time where I had a very, very seasoned official who had worked many Super Bowls. Uh, he missed this call really bad. It was an easy call, but he missed it. And the reason he missed it is just flat out was not in the right position to make the call. So here we have a guy who was probably a 20-year veteran, um, great judgment, great official, rules knowledge, had everything he needed to have to be very successful, but he wasn't in the right position to make the call. So um, I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter how well you know all those other things. If you're not in the right position, you probably aren't going to be successful. The other things with mechanics are that, you know, we have mechanics books, we have mechanics manuals, we have, um, you're going to hear a lot this weekend from the three of us and the discussions that we have with each other. You're going to hear a lot of things about the best position to be, where to stand, where to look, and all those kind of things. You also have to remember that one of the most fun things about football is that every single play is different. And why we have uh, suggestions as to where you ought to be to be the most successful, you also have to just get yourself in position for whatever play, whatever circumstances are brought to you on a given play. So we, if we were to cover every single play and every single contingency, the book would be this thick. It just wouldn't work. So the book is this thick, and it puts you in the right position a very high percentage of the time. But one of the things that makes football fun is that um, we have to think on our feet. We have to change those mechanics once in a while. Uh, for instance, on punts, we say, you know, be 30 yards down the field or 40 yards down the field if you're a deep position. Well, if your punter can only kick 15 yards, there's no reason to be that deep. So those are the kind of things that you have to think about. Or passers. If passers can only throw 30 yards in a lower division game, there's no reason to be 50 yards down the field. So certain things, uh, you can use common sense and evolve. Uh, but mechanics certainly are the foundation for uh, what makes everything else go. Rules knowledge. You guys focus a lot on the rules, and, and Martin just went through all the, uh, the rules uh, results, rules test results. There is no excuse for, uh, for not knowing the rules. Um, certainly they evolve every year, new things come in, and we have to, to make sure that we know the latest and greatest rules. But um, certainly the coaches expect us to know the rules, the players, all the stakeholders uh, in, in what we are doing um, expect us to have a good fundamental knowledge of the rules. There's no, there's no excuse for not knowing the rules. Um, it's just one of those things you have to enjoy doing. Uh, you have to be willing to put the time in and we were talking last night a little bit about and I said, well, you know, there, that's kind of how it works. You have to kind of be a student. You have to go pick a little piece from rule this rule and then go pick a little piece from this rule like Martin said when you were talking about only forward pass. What's the definition of a pass? You have to go get a little piece there and a little piece there and you have to fit the whole puzzle together. And you have to be willing to put in the time and, and be a student um, to master the rules, that's for sure. So rules knowledge, no doubt, is important. It's something that we have to do.